it's the heart of a democracy, the right to vote. And it is something we are all encouraged to do, like in this advertising campaign from last year. With both local and general elections in 2024, another advert like this is out tomorrow. Hi, Barbara. Hello. Last year, I reported on people with learning disabilities who didn't realise they are allowed to vote. I know now. Make up for a lot of time, yeah. So you would think the organisation in charge of running elections would do everything they can to help encourage the community to have their say. However, Channel 4 News has learned that a new advert by the Electoral Commission aimed at encouraging people to vote has not only forgotten to target learning disabled people, they've only left us out altogether. The Electoral Commission has been working with a coalition of learning disabled groups called My Vote My Voice to make voting more accessible. So they had high hopes about the new campaign. So we were invited by the Electoral Commission to view the new concept for their multi-year advertising campaign to encourage people to register to vote. The campaign concept is about uh, everyone loving the fact that they've registered to vote and it's particularly aimed at groups that they know are underrepresented in the polling booth. We asked the Electoral Commission whether or not there would be representation of people with learning disabilities in the advert, but sadly we were told that they wouldn't be represented. But it gets worse. Not only were learning disabled people excluded, the reasons they gave really shocked us involved. We've seen an email sent by the Electoral Commission that states... We discussed casting an actor with a learning disability at length, but the casting agencies for this campaign have a policy that anyone with additional needs has to have a carer or support worker with them on set. This seemed very reasonable to us. However, for budget reasons, it meant we could not cast an actor with a learning disability on this occasion. They went on to say... Happily, however, I'm delighted to say we have been able to divert some budget that will allow us to create bespoke campaign resources to complement the main campaign. There will be photos featuring learning disabled people, like this from a previous campaign. But it's not enough for those who have worked so hard for so long to get their voices heard. It was a really rubbish reply. There's now what's called a reasonable adjustment where people who can do things like that, that if they need support, can actually get that reasonable uh, adjustment so that people can be involved. And also there are lots of people like myself who are quite independent and don't need support. If the adverts don't be included with people with learning disabilities, I find it very disappointed about it. And being a completely different, feel a completely different outlook of society. We have one society and then people should be inc include us. The charities called for the advert to be reshot without success. So we've gone ahead and made it for them. We've had a sneak peek of tomorrow's advert. 17 people go about daily life with on-screen messages about voter registration. Like this. Sorry, it's a bit low budget. Hey, Yella, hey. are you registered? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Hi, Jack, are you registered? Yes. Are you? Yes. Are you registered? Yes, I am. Bingo. Are you registered? Yes, we are. Yes, love. Yes, we are. Yes. Are you registered? Yeah. See, not that hard. <laughs> With the official ad campaign about to go live, I wanted to know if the advertising agencies fancied a last minute addition. I'm calling about the advert you made with the Electoral Commission, which I hear didn't include anyone with a learning disability. So we've actually filmed that part for you. 
can I talk to someone about whether you would like to use it? Hi, Richard. Welcome Hi. to the Electoral Commission. Come on in. McCann didn't want to comment, but referred us to the Electoral Commission. So we decided to shoot the missing sequence ourselves and managed to include people with a learning disabilities. If we could do that for no money, why couldn't you? I mean, you, you raise a really important point there about representation and inclusion, and it's really important that people are recognising themselves in the materials that we produce. Um, we'd love to see the video that you've, that you've created. Perhaps we could share it? We've seen an email saying budget and time constraints meant someone with a learning disability wasn't included. Do you think that's an acceptable excuse? There are lots of different factors that we consider when we're producing um, a, an advert like this. As I say, it's 30 seconds long and it features four or five people. It's, it's really tricky to get everybody that is in an under-registered group included. There are lots of different groups that are under-registered, um, older people, homeless people, and it, as well as people with disabilities. So it's, we can't fit everybody into that 30 second video, but that's why we've made these additional resources, these additional materials that can be used on posters and social media content so that we can make sure that people who have a learning disability have the information they need to take part in these elections. So here is that key information. You have to register by midnight on the 16th of April and you will need a form of photo ID when it goes to vote. Ultimately, it's all about making sure that everyone knows. They have a chance to say who they think is best place to govern us. This is Ruben Reuter reporting for Channel 4 News.